Welcome to the Common Man Football Show. My name is James Coburn, and today's episode, we're talking about the Cincinnati Bengals 2018 midseason stat review. In this video, we're going to look at the Cincinnati Bengals from a statistical standpoint compared to every Bengals team since 2014 to see where they have improved, where they've gotten worse, and where this team could potentially go based on all these sort of various statistics. If you're new to the channel and new to the work that I do, all terms and definitions will be in the description. So if anything I talk about today you don't really understand, you can just go there to kind of give a general overview of all the stuff I'm going to be talking about. So let's start with the Bengals. So this year, offensively, is not that bad. Uh, they have a 76.46 turnover ratio on offense, which is better from last year. Uh, their sack percentage, and this deals with preventing sacks, is 75.11, which is by far one of their best years since 2014. Offensive score percentage is 86.96 out of 100, which is by far the best since 2014. I mean, it's better than 2015. 2015 was 85.91, so they're actually better on offense than they've been since 2014. But the biggest area of concern has been on defense. Their defensive offensive score percentage is 0.45 out of a hundred that is the worst they've been on defense since 2014 their ability to create turnovers though is still decent 68.97 out of 100 not the worst not the best but definitely the second best since 2014 um, sack percentage so the ability to create sacks is 31.03 out of 100 not as great as they were in terms of 2017 definitely below average but definitely not the worst interception percentage is 51.12 out of 100 um, their punt return and kick return yardage has been very decent uh, overall. Field goal percentage is pretty much the same. Extra point percentage is not that great. And, of course, punting average is pretty much the same in terms of special teams. You can look at the other sort of special teams points at your leisure. Overall, though, the Bengals offense is better this year. They've improved in terms of all the major key categories that matter to winning football games on offense. You know, not turning the football over as much not taking as many sacks, and putting more points on the board, but it's the defense that has fallen off the cliff to a certain extent in terms of preventing points and in terms of getting sacks. So we'll see what happens with the Bengals over the next eight weeks, see if they can improve on any of these sort of numbers, but that is how things stack up so far for this Bengals team. It is it is a offensive-driven Bengals team, uh, and they are not quite to 2015 level, uh, because 2015 was a great balance of preventing points and scoring points. But I definitely think this, this team does have a chance to enter the playoffs if they can just get a little bit better on defense and continue to have offensive support. Losing A.J. Green, I think, will affect these numbers, especially over the course of the next couple weeks if, if he's gone. But we'll see what happens overall. But this Bengals team is better from an offensive perspective. And of course, uh, my name is James Coburn. You can find my other work at draftcoburn.wordpress.com. You can also follow me on Twitter at Gymmetrics. And if you like this content and you want more content like this, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Share this video as well with anybody that you know. Uh, hit that like button and subscribe as well if you want more content. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace. <laughs>